be doing a get ready with me interview edition makeup and outfit yes that's right i have an interview for a job and i want to practice what i'm gonna be wearing so i thought why the heck not share this sana apparently has searched for this on the internet all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and get going on this shindig i've already done all my skincare stuff let my moisturizer settle into my skin for about 15 minutes. I try to do that as much as I can, let my moisturizer sink in because I feel like my makeup goes on better after that. The first thing I start with is primer. Smashbox, however, is not a cruelty-free brand, so as much as I really do like this product, I don't plan on repurchasing it for that reason. So I take about a pea size, that's a, small, that's a very small pea, a very small pea amount, and just kind of dot it. I dotted all, almost the entirety of that tiny pea on my forehead, and same thing is happening here. So, already starting out great. That is done. Don't need to wait for that to sink in. You can just plow right ahead. So step one to making it look like I got a full eight hours of sleep, concealer. This is the Collection 2000 Concealer in Fair. It's been much loved. Everything's rubbed off on it. Under the eye. Do my chin. Do down my nose a little bit because that tends to get red during the day. Around my nostrils. Why not there? For good measure. So following that up, I'm going to be using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Airbrush Foundation in the color Fair Honey. This is the lightest shade, and I also have their Air Bookie brush to go along with that. And what I like about mineral foundations is that it's really good at keeping you matte. Whereas I have a little bit of combination oily skin with mineral foundation, I know I'm, I'm locked and loaded. It's gonna keep that shine down, so it doesn't look like I'm nervous. Looks like I, I'm on top of things and I'm a confident woman. So I've done most of my face now, now I'm just gonna target the areas that still have a little bit of shine on them, so like, yay. <laughs> So I'm going to be using the Body Shop Honey Bronzer in 01 with the Real Techniques Contour Brush. I'm going to put a touch, a touch of blush on. So this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Exposed, and if I can open it. Looks like yay. I'm just gonna smile really unflatteringly and then just kind of swipe up from the apples of my cheeks. So let's hope this goes okay. I haven't done this a lot. I'm gonna follow that up with some highlighter. This is Max Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. Now we're gonna move on to Mon eyebrows. I have a blog post on this that I'll link below. Kind of just do like one swipe in the orange, get that on the brush a little bit, and then just kind of mix it in with the charcoal brown. Still room for two more that I won't buy because Mac is not cruelty free anymore, which is tray sad. <laughs> I'm grabbing an eye primer. This is my Hema primer. I've depotted this into a little container from Boots. So I'm gonna follow that up with my Covered Girl eyeshadow in Champagne. I'm just kind of smoothing this all over. Does that look a little bit intense? If it does, that's okay, because we're gonna go over it with another eyeshadow. It's gonna mute it down. This is MAC Patina. I'm gonna press this over the CoverGirl Champagne and it's gonna tone it down but still kind of have that brightness showing through. I'm gonna blend this out just so it's not a weird funky line on my eye with the MAC 286 brush. It look like this. Okay, I've brought you a little bit closer so we can do the dreaded eyeliner. Wow. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is put some of this nude eyeliner, it's Rimmel Waterproof Coal, in the color Nude, funnily enough, 035. So I'm just gonna put this in the waterline because it kind of wakens up your eyes a little bit, gets, it gets rid of any redness. 
I'm gonna start out with what's left of my L'Oreal Super Liner. This is the L'Oreal Defensive Mascara. It's very good. And this is what it would look like if you were wearing glasses. So the eyes aren't too heavy. I don't feel like anything's being too magnified. My brows looked a little subdued when they're contrasting against my frames. And yeah. So as you can imagine, I'm not going to rock up to my interview in my I Heart Edward Cullen tee and my hair up in a scrunchie and a headband. So I'm going to quickly straighten my hair, I think, and then I will show you my outfit. I decided to go with some silky cheetah print pants from Zara. Now usually when you go animal print, people are like, mm, not really great for interviews, but I feel like these are still sleek enough because they're kind of high-waisted and I just have a black top that's contrasting with them. And also the material is a little more polished. And then I also have this blazer from Zara. Pockets on blazers, always great. These shoes were also from Zara from a while ago. They're also a little more sophisticated because they have the pointy toe and then some gold detailing kind of flashing at the back of the heel. This has been my get ready with me interview edition. If you're about to go for an interview, I wish you the best of luck. My top tip for that really is to just be yourself as much as possible. You want them to be hiring you because of you. Until next time, Dupuda Mode, deactivate.